Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be checking out these bad boys today. Also known as pneumatic compression therapy or air compression therapy. <sighs> Say, ooh! Ooh! That is so nice, that pressure. Sick budget. I love it. It's basically bougie. Let's get it. Um, as you can see on the back of the box, uh, it's a leg massager. It's got heat on there. Um, the packaging looks quite good. It's from Amazon. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, this leg massager. So what is it? It's a pneumatic compression system. Now, it's got a compressor unit over here that you can see. Uh, it's very much like a blood pressure unit like you would have with the blood pressure machine. It links with these specialised garments, they're like, uh, they're like sleeves for your legs and they've got sort of various chambers along them where they inflate and deflate um, and they apply direct pressure to the muscle tissue. So what it's supposed to do is this compression technique, it's meant to improve blood circulation, uh, promote lymphatic drainage or lymphatic fluid movement, it helps reduce lactic acid reduces inflammation, soreness, stiffness, improves flexibility and stimulates recovery and enhances performance. So a lot of the elite athletes started using it about 2015, uh, 2016, like really, really early on. Uh, there were a lot of studies in 2017. So let's see what the science says. And remember, this is all clinical evidence. The first study shows it can reduce blood lactate levels. And we all know lactic acid buildup causes discomfort and pain in our muscles. So they took 21 athletes, it was a randomised control trial, and they had three recovery interventions. Pneumatic therapy, active recovery, and passive recovery. Each lasting about 20 minutes. Before the workouts, they measured blood pressure, heart rate, and blood lactate levels. They also measured these after exercise and the results showed that blood lactate levels were significantly lower than the passive recovery group and there was no significant difference between pneumatic compression and active recovery, which is fair enough. Pneumatic compression also enhances flexibility and range of movement. In this study, there was 15 minutes of pneumatic compression and it was only at 70 millimeters of mercury, so it wasn't very high compared to what we're using here today. The results showed that pneumatic compression provides more acute range of movement and there was less discomfort increasing flexibility. It's been also proven to decrease muscle fatigue. This next study took 20 athletes, there was two groups, a control group and a pneumatic compression group and they found that pneumatic compression mitigated a reduction in flexibility and pain to pressure threshold but more than that pneumatic compression reduced skeletal muscle oxidative stress. Another study showed enhanced pressure to pain threshold. Now we all know when we work out and our muscles are sore, any sort of pressure on them, there's a, quite a bit of pain. This study found that the athletes who used pneumatic compression therapy, it accelerated their recovery and they had an improved pressure to pain threshold immediately after treatment. It's also shown to increase regional blood flow. This study showed that blood flow was increased locally in the compressed limbs. And again, only pressures of 70 millimeters of mercury was used. And finally, a study to show that it helps with the treatment of DOMS. If you worked out quite heavily, you've suffered from DOMS, I know I have. And in this study, they did 30 minutes of pneumatic compression and they found that pneumatic compression increases blood flow therefore reducing DOMS pains and is a viable option for management of DOMS. Now it's being rolled out to more wider use, uh, more clubs have taken it on board, they've seen the research that has been con conducted in those previous years and they can see that there's a massive massive help for a lot of elite athletes and people that are active. Uh, they've also found that it doesn't only just help athletes, it's for people who are in sport obviously um, but secondly people that are sitting down a lot not very active uh, especially with the work from home like people are just sitting at their desks a lot more so the blood circulation is not that great people that are in pain and have injury helps them recover better 
gets the blood movement, gets the lymphatic drainage going. Yeah, and people that aren't doing enough exercise. So I fall into all three of those categories. So I played a lot of sport and by doing that, lower extremity sport especially, I injured my Achilles tendon last year. Uh, so bad in fact, it, I ruptured it. So I'm actually recovering myself. Uh, I'm going through a recovery period. Obviously with the lockdown and stuff, I've not been able to go back to football or any badminton or any elite sport like that as of yet. I do intend to and I'm hoping this will be able to help me. Usually after an intense workout, I definitely recover a lot slower. I can't maintain the intensity of my workouts. I definitely have decreased flexibility. Dom's pains when I do lower extremity workouts. Reduced blood flow, I'm not sure if I feel that, but I definitely feel a reduction in energy. And personally, I believe that recovery should always form an integral part of any athlete's training plan um, or any club or coach that are really, really managing these people. Uh, recovery is one of the biggest things that shouldn't be looked over. So they say you should use it after a workout, an intense workout, uh, something that you've done. So I've just done some squats. I uh, did a bit of did a bit of a workout. So I'm gonna see how they feel. My legs feel pretty full of blood. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. So the box, it's quite a nice box. Packaging seems good. Uh, you can see exactly on the picture there what's everything on there. So this particular one, um, it's got the full leg, so it covers all the ankles all the way up to the calf, and the heat pads. Are at the knee so it's actually got a heated pad so I've got a slight issue with my knee I know a lot of people have slight issues with the knee and it it warms it's got three different settings for warming so that should that should be a good feature I'm interested to check it out so I'm guessing these are the leg sleeves it's got the user manual I'll leave that next to me the compressor unit, it's nice and small, looks quite portable and it's got a charging wire with via USB. Got these leg sleeves open. So there's a little indicator where the air valve is and this one says right, so that's for my right foot. And this one should be my left foot. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my footstool here. So, right sleeve first, let's start with the right foot. So this is for the thigh. So open all these up. The knee brace. And the foot goes in there, okay. So I've used all different kinds of massages before and massage is really really important and that's what they're marketed as, they're marketing as leg massages. So it's like your at home personal masseuse if you will. So I've lined up here, so I'm going to start at the bottom, get it nice and tight because I really like a lot of high pressure when I get a massage or if I'm going to be using these, get the heat pad nicely lined up with my knee. One leg. A bit fast with all this velcro. So it's like my Yes. A warming knee strap that will really help my recovery as well. Okay, so we're plugged in. We've got two wires. These are connected to the air valves in the boot. The recovery boot so this is the compressor unit it's got three buttons on the compressor unit it's got a power button a mode button and a heat button so at the bottom you've got the two connections and then you've got the power connection the recharging device so I'm gonna plug them in it's got a left and right so left Right, so you want to try and make sure these aren't tangled either uh, because any kinks 
within the wiring may cause issues in pumping, inflating and deflating the bags of air. Press and hold for power. That's brought up a blue screen. I don't know if you can see it there. And it started. So it's on the lowest intensity right now. There's three settings for intensity. So I like the most. So I'm going to click the power button to increase to medium and up again to the highest. And then I'm going to press the heat button for extra heat as well. So you've got three settings for heat. Uh, 35, 45 and 55 degrees centigrade so I'll go to the max there yeah so let's see I'm gonna go on I'm gonna choose mode so they've got auto they've got leg, foot, pinch mode, press mode and relax so I'm gonna go on the press mode because I like a good press when I'm on yeah so that's happening so while that's going on Let's check out the user manual. Take caution of using this if you're pregnant or starting birth. You will get dangerous, advance, anti-toxic disease, and blood pressure, cancer, surgery, testing, and blood pressure. People testing and blood pressure. So it's got an automatic shut-off time of 20 minutes. Like I said, the knee temperature goes from 35 degrees, 45, and 55. I'll put it on 55. It's really nice and warm in there. Get all those joints, ligaments, tendons. Keep them all nice and warm. Um, and the pressures as well so there's different pressures along the air chambers so I think there's nine air chambers all together so the ones in the foot on the weak setting it's about 30 kilopascals the medium setting 36 kilopascals and the strongest 38 38 is probably about 285 yeah it's 285 millimeters of mercury um, so that's pretty high compared to some of the others on the market that's very high actually and I can feel it right now in my foot it's really really strong strong pressure and it's just pressing all that all them muscles and just pushing everything up pushing all the blood up so yeah uh, the calf and the thigh on the weak one these are the same so 22 kilopascals on the setting 1 on the medium setting 24 kilopascals and strong 30 kilopascals 20 minutes later <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the morning after um, I'm feeling a lot better to be honest I'm not as sore as I normally am after a workout but I can still feel a little bit of soreness so I'm going to use the recovery boots again um, like I said feeling a little bit of soreness uh, from yesterday but normally after a leg workout the day after is really really bad and it's not as bad as that let's go Be interested to know how you recover. Do you do active recovery? Do you get a massage? Have you got a massage gun? Uh, I've had one of those, which is quite popular. Do you foam roll? I know a lot of people foam roll and stuff. So just let me know in the comments below what you do for recovery. One thing I like about these is you can actually trick the system. So how you know the foot has got the most pressure, you can switch them over and you can get the most pressure at the thighs, which is where I like it. Oh. Yes, this is the hacked version where I've switched the controls around and got the highest pressure in the thigh as opposed to in the foot. That is so nice, that pressure. I don't think I've had a massage that can do that. I've never had a masseuse that can squeeze my thigh from all different angles at the same time. Amazing. Oh. Pressure is amazing. This is the best hack ever. 
285 millimeters of mercury nothing else on the market oh I love that oh, I want that I want that right in my good I wish they were just easier to put on it's pretty loud That's like a 9 out of 10. That is amazing. Ooh! That is strong. Literally, I know a lot of people like, <clears throat> the missus has tried these and she thinks they're too strong for her, but I love it, this pressure. So, if you like a lot of high pressure when you get in a massage or you really like sports massage to get right deep in there, this is the one. I do feel a little bit better to be honest. Um, I can feel like the blood has definitely moved up and I can definitely feel something's happening with regards to the blood flow. Uh, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. So I want to go over some of the pros and the cons. Starting with the pros, I thought they were great value for money considering they're only like £99. Uh, it's got a really high pressure, like I said up to 285 millimetres of mercury, which is one of the highest on the market but that's only limited to the foot. It is portable, so you can charge it up and take it anywhere, which is great. It's got the heated knee pads, which I really, really liked, and it's got multiple settings, modes, and things you can adjust with regards to the cons. Um, it's a bit of a faff to put them on with all that Velcro and messing about with it. Um, it could be a little bit more secure, and the compression unit is quite loud. They get a thumbs up from me, definitely. So overall, what's my verdict? I think they're a great pair of compression boots, uh, especially if it's something that you wanna do on a budget. I know that I've had a lot of sports massages in the past, um, and these actually quite live up to the standard. They do live up to the standard. They are pretty good, they're a good replacement. And especially if you don't wanna be forking out 50, 60 quid an hour for a sports massage. Considering that these are the budget ones, uh, they're pretty good value for money, £99, you can carry it around with you if you're travelling, if you're a sports star, if you're working away from home, if you suffer from a lot of muscle pain, I know I do, uh, so these, these are really, really good and perfect for me. There are some that are a lot, lot more expensive than these, uh, I mean it ranges from about £40, £50, you can get these compression boots all the way up to like twelve, thirteen hundred. £1,300, so yeah, uh, if you want me to check some of those out, just let me know in the comments below, I might order some and see what the difference is like, but as far as it goes for these, uh, budget recovery system, it's pretty good. I'll put the link in the description below where you can get these specific ones, uh, the ones with the knee heaters. Uh, if you want the ones without the knee heaters, just let me know and I'll let you know where you can get them from as well. But yeah, thanks for watching.